Welcome everybody to a another LEGO Star Wars set review. Today we're gonna be reviewing the ATRT. The final first ATRT actually. So yeah. And the set, wait first. Up here. So this number of the set is 75002. It's ages 7 to 12. And you get three minifigures. But don't look. Don't look. I'm gonna get on that. So yeah, let's get to the set. So yeah, first let's jump to the minifigures. The first one. So the first one is this. Who is this little green fella? Of course, it's Yoda. So yeah, this is a new version of him. I think it's a the Yoda Chronicles version. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Let's take out the lightsaber. He has a new head mold, I think, and it's if you take it off, it's really, really rubbery. You can bend it and everything. Look at the torso print. It's got a robe print. It's pretty good. Back printing is like a hoodie. And of course, he has these little legs. You can move them. And he gets his lightsaber. Now, this lightsaber is. Too big for him, in my opinion. It's too big and big for him. He always has like this, the size of a lightsaber, not this. But you get what you get, I guess. Hair. Yeah. This is Yoda. Second is the new minifigure. And. Uh, if you're if you're asking, it's not exclusive. You get a, a CD95 Headhunter. I don't have the set, but so yeah, this is the Fargo First Clone Trooper. I adore the printing. It's so well made, especially the helmet. It's such. It hasn't doesn't have anything on the back here. It's just kind of weird on the back of the helmet, but yeah, awesome torso print. Love it. It's an it's a normal clone trooper print, but it has the blue thing, and that makes it a hundred times more cooler. Uh, blue arms, back printing, thermal detonator. This kind of Darth Vader <laughs> box, and like printing with the blue markings, and he gets the blaster. So yeah, that's the second minifigure, and the last minifigure, if you can call it a minifigure, yeah, it's a minifigure. The Commando Droid Captain. Now, you get the Commando Droids and the uh, Mark Speeder with sidecar set, but this is the Captain, because he has some markings up here, and this red thing. And on the head, it's a bit different. I don't have the, I don't have the normal commando droid, but yeah, it's different. It has the tall legs of the super battle droid, normal tor droid torso. I actually use this for another set. This head. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's the Geonosis Duo, but don't, don't, uh, don't quote me on that. And he gets a normal blast. Now you can you can count this as a minifigure, I guess. So this is the sniper droid, the droideka thing. So yeah, you see it in the, I think it's the third season of Clone Wars. It rolls up uh, on Anakin and Ahsoka. 
if you want to close, if you want to put it in this formation, you remove this head, close it up, and uh, stop firing. A problem with this, you can't roll it. I mean, this is too long. You can't roll it. You can, I mean, you can do this. Yeah, it's not working. So yeah, you can't roll it, but it's a good looking minifigure. It's a good looking thing. So yeah. Now, on to the actual walker. Well, it can't hold on my studio because it's that freaking tall. It's not that tall, but yeah. So here is the ATRT walker. It's really, really, really oversized. The normal ATRT walker is like double as small. It's they call them I think the chicken walkers or something like that. And in a set, it's in an old set you get like a proper properly sized ATRT walker, but yeah, you get this one. It's pretty cool. I would call the ATBT all terrain big big uh AT, what does ATRT stand for? All Terrain Recon Transport, I think. So, yeah. Um, we get a couple of stickers. I think it's five or four. Get these ones. If I go first, this kind of thing, and this kind of thing, and this one. I love them. They're transparent, and you can put them on anything you want. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. Get this. Blaster, you can move right and left. You can actually get your fiber first clone trooper and put him up here. And his blaster, this thing goes actually back here. I don't think you can see it. It's like a little hole in here. Just stick it in there and it stands up. Yeah. You get these antennas, you can actually see them on the actual, if you go in, back to the Clone Wars Season 4, Episode 17, I think. If you look at it really good, you can see actually these antennas. Yeah, I pay attention to detail that much. You get these kind of, I don't know what they call, what they are called, but you can move the legs. Can't move them forward anymore, but you can... Make it kind of walk like wah, 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 and everything. It's a pretty cool vehicle. Um, I, I just saw where I messed up on the building part. These two are, you can see it, but I messed up somewhere. I'm gonna repair it. Um, these things fold out like this. Close them back in. And you're ready to go. So yeah, that's the set, guys. Let's take a look at the box. Now, other than the box is also freakishly tall as the actual ATRT Walker. It's pretty good box art. Gets your uh, your geekness going. Yoda fighting a droid. A big like thing against a Dredeca thing gotta buy it back you sh in the back you can see the features legs move store the gun back here you can actually see it so yeah the gun moves um, and yeah that's pretty much the box and you get this kind of box art yeah, that's it for the set. It's a great set. It's actually awesome. It's a pretty awesome set. It's not super duper uber awesome, but it's a great set. Love it. Um, other than the 
is freakishly tall. ATRT, it's a great set. I suggest you buy a couple of them. You can buy, I don't know. If you want, you can buy hundred of them. But I don't suggest it. A, because it's a lot of money, and B, because you get, you, you're gonna have a hundred Yodas, what's wrong with you? But you get a lot of commando droids and clone troopers. Goodbye.